I'm getting a bit nervous. Where? Not having it. This one is top 10 channel. That's what it's called, top 10. Five scary things caught on camera number five. Before we get started, all this footage that shows on this channel have been taken from reliable sources. You'll find them all in the description if you want to be sure. Oh, okay. But it's still possible that this footage is not real. We, uh, we're kind of counting on it. It's straight in there. Is this real or is this <laughs> Number four. You little bugger. I'm not even started yet. Okay, that was... <laughs> this video was up... <laughs> okay. The curious adventurer that he is, he decides to check it out and documents the mysterious They're descent. Yeah. He and his shepherd dog undertake and seems to be alone at first, but after a few minutes, something he finds in the tunnels actually might prove him wrong. the idea of being underground that much puts a bit of cold sweat on me. Oh, the bats. Oh! Whoa! Okay. Duck! Do a bit of dodging. What am I looking at? I'm scared. I'm getting a bit nervous. Is that a person? Oh no, I don't hear. There's something in the wall then. I saw a person, a full person. Oh, God, he's... Stay behind me. Get in front, get in front. <laughs> Stay behind me. We're scared of losing him. Go around the corner. No. He's going to see something, he's going to see something. That's what? There's a person! There's a person! Come on! Okay. An apparition in dark rope and a pale face is waiting for him at his end of the tunnel, not moving once. How is this possible? Must have been something from another realm. If it isn't staged, of course. It certainly gave him nightmares afterwards, and people couldn't come up with a good explanation of what we are looking at here. Yeah, it's not clear enough. Not Number three. Enough. Not having that. No. Because I just saw something in the wall that I thought was a person. Many people like the okay. thrill of trying out these scary and possibly paranormal rituals for themselves. In the following video, we see a young girl attempting it on afternoon. It was said that she was home alone at the time the video was captured. She wanted to see if there was that any truth like behind what she ago. thought. To be just make-believe party games, she attempts the ritual. And at first, nothing seems to happen. Looking face then. can be seen in the last couple of frames of the recording one has to wonder that perhaps the ritual actually Ooh. worked. Hmm. I'm not sure about that one. Number two. <laughs> On a lonely drive home sure late at night, one. this happened. Oh. Who? Or better yet, what was that? The dashboard camera capture a strange humanoid figure That's dashing human across the street at an alarming rate of speed. Whatever it? was it wasn't human, as no normal person could possibly run that fast. Many I people suggested know. that it might have been a person's hideout of this mind on something. It's known fact that some substances can alter the physical abilities, but never like this. Regardless though, this encounter was truly terrifying. <laughs> To know about that one what do you think number one yeah I'm before we watch it. the last one if you like this type of videos please subscribe yeah, to the channel and channel. activate the ring sure bell to receive one. more oh crap 
Hearst Castle in Hampshire, England, was established in the early 1500s, oh, yeah. and over oh, yeah. its grim 500-year oh, yeah. history, okay. it served as a formidable English military, since it was also used as a prison to hold convicts sentenced to death. Okay. So, goes without saying that the castle has some dark and bloody times. Yeah, of course. Many visitors claim to have seen ghosts and shadows in haunted hallways, including the spirit of a long-dead monk. Paranormal oh, investigator Tony Ferguson has explored the haunted Hearst Castle many times, and on each visit he seems to capture something terrifying. On this particular visit Tony brings along fellow investigator Paul Sissel. The two men split up to explore the castle all alone, but, for Paul, it didn't go well. Paul says that he felt as if he were out of control, possessed by the spirit of some angry entity from the castle. As Tony and Paul continue exploring, they say that they feel a strange and very powerful energy in one particular room, a small castle alcove with one creepy little window that seems to open to nothing. On next visit Tony comes alone determined to investigate this tiny little room and see if he catches any paranormal activity. He has set up a camera to record and ends up capturing something horrific. Okay, yeah, there's something obviously behind there. But we never got to see what was behind there. So when Tony reviews his footage room. later, he is shocked to see a small dark figure with glowing eyes standing at the window in the Samlehurst Castle. Glowing eyes? Where? Room. Now you might think that this could simply be a person standing outside the window, but it turns out that would be impossible you see behind this window, there's only a small gap, and then concrete the Show area us. behind this window is completely closed off, with brick and cement. How'd you know? And the question is who, or what, is this? You decide. Not having a great B-roll by the way, on to the next one.